Hey guys, Cam here from todaysiphone.com with a rather large box to unbox, if you see what I mean. This is the Edifier S-C-N-A, I believe is how it's pronounced. The IF360BT, it's a Bluetooth all-in-one system that's designed essentially to replace the home hi-fi. It can work in your office, in your bedroom, in the kitchen, wherever you want it. Um, I'll just read through the spec sheet quickly. It's an all-in-one home audio solution with touch-sensitive controls on the top. High density dot matrix VFD display, 3 inch magnetically shielded subwoofer, speakers, um, it plays CD, CD MP3 and CD WMA, it plays almost everything, you can connect to FM radio, it's got a digital clock with an alarm function, USB readers, MP3, uh, audio connectors, also auxiliary connectors on the outside and obviously it's got an iPhone dock, 30 pin dock in there as well and it can connect via Bluetooth so whatever device you've got there's a good chance this is going to be able to play it so you really don't need to look any further in terms of specs. I'm just going to unbox it, see what comes along with the Edifier Essiana in the packaging. Um, let's just open this up here. Now I've not had a chance to look at this yet. In the US this is going to set you back about $300. Um, in the UK, I've seen them going online from about 180, around 200 pound mark. Um, let's see what this. So we've got this box here, uh, which is separately packaged inside, and in there you've got your power cable and all sorts of other stuff. Um, I'll just open these up very quickly. You've got a wireless remote and there's a tab in there that you pull to pull the battery obviously to make the battery work so it connects um, you've got all sorts of buttons on there uh, but I'll show them in the full review I'll probably do a written review on this uh, because it's such an in-depth model but there's your remote it feels really slim really really lightweight you also get packaged in here Two cables now. Let's see what we've got. We've got okay. This one's your radio FM antenna, which has got like a mini jack at the end, and then obviously your antenna loop at the other, um, and also mini jack two phono stereo. Well, it's obviously got right and left, red and white. Now the speakers themselves, um, the two 22 watt speakers. So for most rooms in the house, you're going to find that it's plenty loud enough. Oh, and there's a bag full of different docks for various models of iPhone and iPod. So whatever you've got, as long as it's a 30 pin, which the iPhone 5 and all the new ones aren't, um, they will fit in there quite snugly. Um, and obviously you don't need to see the power cable. Now I'm just going to stand up to get this out. It's got two quite big bits of foam holding it securely in place. I'll have to try not to break those because they want me to send this back after I've reviewed it. Um, Let's see how I can get this out of here now. Okay. I'm really scared of breaking this. Oh, right in the bottom. Manual in a bag. But let's get rid of this box. I'm gonna put it behind my camera if I can find a space. Get rid of these foam parts. And it's wrapped in a really nice soft um, bag. Here we go. That's a nice touch. So if you want to pack it away at any time, which I'm obviously going to have to do once I've finished my review, it's easily done. You just put it in its neat little package, in its bag, cloth bag, and remove it, put it back in and tie it up again. So it's got a really interesting design. It's kind of got this, oh that's upside down, covered in cellophane so I'm going to have to take all that off as well. I hope they're not expecting me to put that back on again. You can see the finish is a really nice shiny black stylish looking finish. It's got a neat little, um, it's kind of chrome, brushed chrome, oh, not chrome, brushed metal tab that goes along the middle. It's got a really kind of classy minimalist look to it. I'm just going to move my camera 
just because obviously the box was huge and I can zoom in a little bit now so you can actually see the speaker. Um, so on the top here you've got various touch sensitive controls, mute function, skip backwards, skip forwards, stop and seek and input selection, play and pause and obviously there's like a, a track wheel there I believe. If it's not a track wheel I'll put a description, I'll put it in the link. And there's your 30 pin connector in there with a kind of a stand so you can lean your phone up against that to keep it safe and um, I believe let's go on and have a look at the back so there in the back you've obviously got your two right and left phono inputs your power cable switch on and off SD card reader USB reader and the aerial connector I believe that is and if you look in there, on both sides you've got these kind of um, air air holes so the air can travel through the system and get the sound out a lot clearer. They tend to make, what that does, instead of making bass all kind of muddy and woolly, it kind of pushes the bass out a little bit more clearer, but doesn't take away any of the bass. So um, I'm going to plug this in and then we're going to have a quick look and see what we think. You can see it's telling me to insert my iPod slash iPhone. Now, I wanted to show you this quickly. I've plugged it in, and when you plug it in and power it on, you can see it's a bit of a, ma a fingerprint magnet, but these buttons, the touch sensitive buttons, start to glow red. It's quite a nice touch. It makes it look kind of professional, a bit more stylish, I think. Let's push that back a tiny bit. I'm just gonna plug my iPhone in. And let's see. And you can use the volume, the track wheel to put the volume up and down. That's kind of a nice. It's a really, it's touch sensitive. Everything on there is touch sensitive. Or I can use the remote control, obviously if I can find the buttons. And you can skip tracks on your iPhone. And you can see actually on here, the name of the track comes up, which is quite sweet. Sweet, it's cool. So yeah, there's a quick first look, so I'm gonna give this a full review and let you know what I think later on on the site. I'll probably write up a review on this, but that's been the Edifier Sienna Bluetooth slash home media system, and I'll see you again soon.